Uh oh, creaky chair. Creaky, creepy chair, guys. Hello. Uh, I'm up late again. God damn it. I'm up late again. I thought we might as well just keep playing from fantasy to that. Alright, we still have a lot to do, guys. Welcome, by the way. I don't know who I am, by the way. My name is Frank. Frank Gallows in the stream every day. Or as often as possible, folks. <clears throat> Usually on the weekdays. That's when you can catch me. 8 p.m. Eastern Time, guys. That's when I'm available. Um, streaming extremely early, so I'm not sure if I want to turn on my camera right now or anything like that. You know, it's dark in the room. I'm kind of just hanging out. Uh, we might just have the mic off and just do a straight, like, run-through of the game. Um, basically, we're trying to reach level 50 and uh, get out of this starting area of the game, pretty much. We are using a black mage, and I'm new to this class. I'm new to the game in general, really. All right, so, um, you know, we're learning our rotation still and all that kind of stuff. That's all we're doing, right? We're just trying to trying to make it through. <laughs> we're going to be on a lot until I can push through, and then uh, we'll figure out other stuff to do. We're pushing hard, folks. And in the meantime, let me just uh, check some of my settings before we get started. You know, just uh, preparing ourselves. Yeah, I'm up late, guys. Very late. <clears throat> but we are continuing on with the Rome Reborn story. I guess we might as well just get started, huh? Let's see where I need to go. I gotta go to Limsa. That is a hefty price, but it's one I'm willing to pay. Yeah, it's pretty late. It's pretty late, but I keep thinking about all the stuff we got to push through. All right, so. I'm up anyway, and I'm just like shit posting on some forums, right? So I might as well make real use of my time. Hold on, guys, I'm trying to adjust the volume. I hear someone playing some kind of instrument here. Let's not waste any time, right? I I just want to get this over with. So I see him over there, right? Let's take a closer look, though. Okay, so he's at the aft castle. All right. Might as well be productive, right? I'm over here just listening to podcasts and stuff. Skip cutting. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't eat any eggs. My guy is hungry, so let's have some food. Now you can buy more food. Um, I'm not sh quite sure where you can buy it here per se. Uh, exactly right. But let's let's take a quick look and see if I can find it. We're gonna need to stock up on something. And it doesn't matter what food I'm eating, guys, personally, just because I'm using it for the experience uh, bonus. But they do provide, like, small boost to your stats, so... <clears throat> if you're eating food and hoping to get some better stats for a little while, you might want to check what they are. And, uh, let's see, the jewelry, the craft, maybe the apothecary. Apothecary? <laughs> the apothecary? Uh, nope. Culinarian. There we go. There's some eggs here, right? And they have different effects if you look off to the right-hand side. Uh, unfortunately, I can't, like, use my mouse to, like, highlight it because it just makes it leave. <clears throat> but if you look at the bottom right-hand side, there's, like, marmot steak, there's boiled eggs, right? And this one will give you, like, skill speed, uh, critical hit, direct, <clears throat> direct hit, right? All this kind of stuff. Um, and then there's stuff to, like, this is like for crafting GP and stuff like that, so uh, you'll have to look at some stuff if you want to know what it does. As far as what we, like if we could use something, maybe spell speed would be good, right, a vitality. And it's pretty cheap, right, it's just some reasons. So maybe we'll just get a bunch of these. 
And you can you can go nuts, right? Uh, they're very cheap. The food is very cheap. Uh, you get better stats if you make your own meals, by the way. Just something to think about. And then what are we doing again? Oh yeah, we're doing the story. I'm oh, sorry, guys. Wait, what? Oh, because we talked to him already. Right. Waking sounds. So we can use our ticket. We can use our ticket, guys. I am semi-tired, right? Oh, crap. What's going on in here? It's dark in here. Someone looks like they're knocked out or dead. Are you okay? Hello? hello? Oh, this guy bought the farm. Oh, there's two people. You didn't, even, you didn't even draw your sword, sir. What happened? Everybody in here too. I never looked around this hard. I kind of just went straight forward because it seemed like some bad stuff was happening. All this is busted up. Our allies are missing. I think this is a pretty important part of the story. <clears throat> if you remember, we did go off to help those little like grass people. I forget what they're called, right? But they're like the little grass fairies looking things. Um, they need to help pretty badly. Sleeping on the job, I see. Stay out of 
my sight. I would leave a message with you. I surrender myself on the condition you spare the innocent. Condition? Bear speech that the queen has died. I'll grant you her courage, but you would be better served by honor. Search all you will. The one you seek is not here. So this is the Empire, right? This is one of their like generals or lieutenants. Um, they are very heavily based off of like uh, stormtroopers, things like that. Uh, based off the, the Empire from Star Wars. Uh, what a Japanese anime flair, I guess you would say to them. I believe that kick was enough to eventually <laughs> put her in critical condition and then it uh, deleted her. Right. Roxia is gone. And we have to seek shelter, right? Because we lost our uh, we lost our base of operations basically. there <laughs> I'm like in a mad dash to to get to level 50 get to level 50 and get up out of this uh, base game so you know we're in trouble we use our safe word Oh, yeah, that 
so much. Appreciate it. <laughs> It does start picking up here a little bit, right? Um, I do like the fights we have towards the end of the game when you're fighting. Um, when you go to the base, right? You're riding the. Uh, <clears throat> you're riding your your mount. I don't know the name of it, the Magitech mount, and all that kind of stuff. It's gonna be a cold one today, I think. I, I hear the wind just whipping past my window right now. I'm whipping coffee. And this stuff we're gonna skip, right? It's gonna be more busy work, basically, so we are gonna do our best to just get through it. So we're going to go back. Uh, another mindless fetch quest. At least um, we're pretty close to where we got to go. So that's not that big a deal. So here we have someone, guys, right here, uh, has an act for technology, for some reason, right? So I wonder who that could be. He clearly has a pair of goggles underneath that hoodie. We're getting levels pretty quickly. All right, so what I think we can do is, I know I'm saving a lot of this stuff for my gladiator, right? <clears throat> there will come a time when he starts getting his, uh, you know, we start getting his levels up. We start working towards Paladin. That's why we're like opening all these things as a as gladiator because eventually 
he will use them. Right now, though, right now we're just going to focus on Black Mage, right, until we're level 50. And then, um, funny enough, we'll probably just go Gunbreaker first, and then we'll go uh, Gladiator into Paladin. Alright. Well, that's it, and then. I do still have to keep an eye out there on my uh, my inventory, right? Because it's pretty easy to just let every item sit in there, and then before you know it, you have a whole uh, mess on your hands, right? And you guys know that I am a hoarder, right? So I have to I have to be vigilant. And this is how strong we are, guys. We're gathering the uh, the corpses. All right, we picked up one body. Put them in our pocket. Hand them over four bodies, just like that. Oh, I've got to get the rest. You don't even use the uh, the self's name anymore. So much of that, kind of far, kind of far. We just, uh, we just got that one. At least that's what my phone said. We just got that one, and I, uh, I'm not sure if you heard me say thank you, but I am thankful. I'm very happy now. <laughs> New follower, right? We're, we're working our way up there. We're working our way up there, guys. You already know the goal, right? Uh, we're on the road to 30, and then it's going to be road, the road to 40, right? Baby steps. Baby steps, right? But we're going to make it. You know all these, like, sirens in the background? It's like, it's like 6 a.m. Stuff is going on right now. I could use a bandana for like style purposes, right? I do, I do think you can um, dye that one. I'm pretty sure you can. Uh, spectacles are good too, though. Uh, I don't see, see them. My guy's so small, that's why. Yeah, we're just going to teleport everywhere. That's the plan. Come 
what's going on over there? Oh, there's these bugs. I don't like these bugs. You know what? Let's uh, let's do a masala because it looks like he's taking some punishment. Even at this level, they're still um, hostile. All of these creatures are. They're mad, they're mad, I guess. Now we have to break the bad news. I do kind of like the design, especially like the older one. It looks like it could be in like a, uh, maybe like Pan's Labyrinth, right? Not with the glasses and the, <laughs> you know, the, the other stuff, right? But just like that kind of design. A Guillermo del Toro uh, aspect. Yeah, what's scarier than cabbage? You know, that reminds me, didn't he do a Pinocchio movie? I don't think I've seen it yet. What am I doing? <laughs> Getting thrown off. Let's let's go this way. I'll be honest. I don't follow like too much of his work. Right. I just know he's like one of those, like horror, special effects dudes, basically. Right. Uh, I know he worked on Hellboy, the older Hellboy at least. I don't know about the new one that came out. It looked bad. I didn't watch it, and I don't think it did well. We need something for style, guys. So let's try this on. Let's see if I can zoom in on him. I do like this bandana though. Alright, let's try the bandana. Hmm. Now I know we can um Excuse me, guys. I know you can die it. Yeah, I saw the trailer. I wanted to like it, right? Um, so here's the thing. I do like Hellboy. I like, but I like more of the old movie Hellboy. I, I've read some of the comics. You know, I haven't read too much of it, even with my vast like comic book uh, reading. I I'm I'm a fan of the older Hellboy, specifically the first one. The second one was okay. It wasn't great. It was alright. Um, you know. I thought it was good. I liked the actors in it. I liked the Hellboy better. Um, let's take a look real quick. And, um, you know, I, I saw a picture of the second one. I mean, of the reboot or whatever you want to call it. Yeah, the first one was great. The second one was just all right, right? I, we, I think that's a general consensus. And then they left it on a cliffhanger that didn't go anywhere because maybe they didn't sell enough or whatever. I, I love the first one. I love I love the guy that plays Hellboy. <clears throat> All right. Um, I call him Clay a lot, but I, I believe he's Ron Perlman, right? I believe this is actual man. I love Ron Perlman. I like I like his delivery. I like his the way he speaks and all that. Right? Real cool. You know, he was in Blade Two as well. Uh, I think he played Beast on Beauty and the Beast. If you guys remember that far back for a TV series, 
Right, he's an old dude. No, he's super old. Yeah, Ron Perlman, right? Uh, you know, hey, he has a great voice, and he has... Uh, he's a good actor. <laughs> I think he came in more into prominence in his later years, though, right? It seems like he was in Sons of Anarchy. Uh, I think he did a voice for uh, s some anime stuff. Or I, I can't even begin to name all the stuff he did, but he's been in a lot of stuff lately. He's in the 70s, Jesus. I know he, I knew he was old, but not that old. I think, but I think he came more into prominence later on in his career, right? Like, he's, they started using him for a lot more stuff. And, um, I just liked him better. <laughs> I just liked him better. And, uh, the other guy, uh, I do believe, the guy that played Hellboy, he was in, um, Stranger Things, right? He's the cop in Stranger Things. So I think his acting is just fine. Uh, but it didn't match from my memory of like of what I liked about the old movies so the trailer didn't look good <laughs> right that's all I gotta say the trailer didn't look good we'll just get this bandana guys we're wasting time here and I heard it bombed spectacularly right so maybe they'll try again in a, in a few years who knows And honestly, it's funny because they might have been more truer to the comic. I haven't read enough of the old uh, or the original or just Hellboy in general. So I have no idea which one was closer. Right. No idea. But that's just how it is sometimes. Where, where are we looking? Wait, what's going on here? Let me get on my chocobo. Damn. No old dude. Old dude. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully he's around for a little while longer, right? We're being watched. Who's here? Oh. I see. Some of a bitch. <laughs> hey, relax. Hold on. Let me hit you with this. All right. Let me hit you with this, too. Hold on. Stay right there, sir. Let me hit you with this. And what a whole bunch of these hunnikins. I really should have my um, my companion out. Let's summon him. Well, you know, like uh, like I said. Uh, no Hellboy, I didn't watch it. I didn't like it. I, it looked like it was something I wasn't going to like, right? And, uh, it didn't have the same charm, I guess you would say. It didn't have the same, the same charm. And it's all right. Eventually, they'll reboot everything, right? So eventually, we'll get another, uh, another one of those. Maybe. You know, it was actually a, uh, a cartoon I really liked when I was younger. Um, it was uh, it was called Gargoyles, if you guys remember that cartoon. Right? It, it, I think it came out as a board game first, and they like, had a, a VHS tape to go along with it. And the VHS tape was basically just a pilot. And then, uh, you know, they started airing the series. It was great. It was a great series. I really liked it. And then later on down the line, I found out that a lot of people they did, like uh, Star Trek, uh, TNG, were voice actors on it, which made it even better, honestly. I don't think uh, Jean-Luc was there. I don't remember. It's been a long time. But that would have been nice. Oh, you had the board game? I never, I never, uh, I never had many board games, so I, I know it was a thing, right? I just knew it was a thing because... Uh, I like the cartoon, and then they had the commercials for it. Um, let me take. I guess we'll just take this. Here we 
There he goes. I, I'll be honest, I don't like this dude's outfit at all. It's a little gaudy. I don't like the platforms and the uh, exposed die and part of a rib cage. I think he changes his outfit up later on and it looks a lot better. Argos has some legendary people on it though, right? Goliath was Keith David. Love Keith David. Right, he did the voice of Spawn as well. It almost matched perfectly with his character. And of course Keith David is uh he's one of those actors that I like where he was in the thing. Great movie. That's probably one of my favorite, like quote unquote horror movies of all time. I think it was like one of the scarier like, uh, you know, not that I get scared easily and that movie didn't scare me, but the concept of like, you know, because it wasn't technically an alien, it was like an alien virus. So it, that wasn't even, you know, the thing we saw wasn't even it, basically. Right. So I, I like that. And uh, I like They Live as well. Right. Keep They was in that. A lot, a lot of good stuff back in the day. These days, I'm not even sure because I barely watch that many new things. Right. I'm sure there's things out there that I would like. So this guy right here is Sid. He kind of just doesn't remember right now for some reason. Uh, you know, Sid is an engineer. Uh, he's in a lot of games in different iterations of himself. Usually he's good with tech, right? Whichever like incarnation of him you see. Kind of funny how none of the main scions got, got right? <laughs> none of them died or got any harm done to them. Circumvent the tempest that shields her sanctuary. And for that, we need an airship. Your airship, Sid. I. I have. Um...
special. put an end to the primes together we will show the world that the scions are still a force to be reckoned with This version of Sid looks alright, I guess, you know. I'm not sure which one I prefer more. I, I like the one from part 7. Uh, he's a cool looking dude. I also like the one from part 2 slash 4, depending on how you want to number it, right? Uh, we can call it from part 4. I like the way he looked. He looked a little bit rough on the edges. And um, I'm honestly not sure about all the other Sids, right? I know they're all out there. Um, but part 4 and part 7 are my favorite Sids. So he's okay looking. He looks a little Kingdom Heartsy, which kind of brings him down a couple of notches. I can see they try to give him like overalls, they try to stylize his outfit. But uh, something's just not working. It might be his hair. I'm not a fan of his hairstyle. He's one of the characters that doesn't get like his appearance updated, I don't think so at least. But we can't do anything about that. Oops. Let's see what he has here. Okay. Let's make sure we do the regular story missions. So we're looking for a ship, basically. Is this fire to cook? Nope. Won't let me over. I was just curious. It's been a while since I actually made like a meal in this game. Oh. That's actually good for me. That's rare, right? You have to make sure we pick that one up. Why is everything so fun? Not even attuned. Wait, Camp Dragonhead. What? How far away from it? Take a little peek over here. So when make it here, you're like close towards kind of almost the end of the. Uh, there's still a lot of missions though, right? <laughs> Let's not sugarcoat it. There's still a lot of missions. Um, but once you make it here, you know you're getting close. You're getting closer. So this is cool. I'm glad they were made it over here. I forgot this was even a thing. We still have a lot to go though. We still have a lot to go. So we're not, we're, you know, this ain't gonna be done in a couple of hours. It might take all day, depending on how hard we go.
I want this robe. Yeah, there we go. Now we're looking like we match. Let's make sure we update them. Always make sure to uh, like we update your costumes, right? Because if you ever switch your jobs, then your whole like costume set is going to be gone, or your whole like uh, armory, your whole armory armor set is going to be gone. Search for the missing knight. Where's this guy at? He's behind us. Um, let's make sure we're well fed again. We're going to use all the eggs before we switch over, even though the other food will give us more of a bonus to our magic. All right, let's just stay topped off. That way we don't get a whole inventory full of uh, food. Since he's up here somewhere, right? This can't be good. Zoom out very slightly. This is the only character where I have to constantly like adjust the camera. Ah, uh, you can stun me out of my blues. Okay. Be, I am mashing buttons, guys, just in case you're wondering. Save this ass. Yep. No problem. We kind of made it over here faster than I thought we were. Uh, it's all thanks to me and my dedication. <laughs> right, we really, uh, we really put the blinders on to make sure we focused on just doing the story missions. It is easy to waste a lot of time in the game doing nothing. Right. Uh, this is one of those kind of games where like you can get caught up. Visiting your friend and standing around and not getting the story done. Right, standing around and then, like, look at my outfit, look at my fit, guys, right? That kind of stuff. And the next thing you know, the day is gone and you didn't do any missions. I'm just going to check in here. Oh, okay, well, I was wrong. I was so very wrong. I think they are upstairs. You can write the Chocobo in here for some reason. I mean, I don't hate it, because he wants to climb up the stairs. Look at all these stairs, and I'm just a small little guy. Right, this will take all day. You know, I remember one time I saw an old lady. She had, like, uh, one of those walkers, and uh, she was walking down the block. And in the middle of the block, there was a restaurant I wanted to go to, right? So I went in the restaurant. You know, I walked by her, I went in the restaurant. And I had my lunch, and I came out, and then she made it to the restaurant. She was like, she was basically walking down the block, but it was taking a very long time. But you know, she was, uh, she didn't want any help, so she just like slowly made her way forward, which good for her, you know. I wonder if she, um, you know, uh, needed one of those mobility scooters, and she just didn't have it that day. Cause it seemed like she's having like a very hard time but nobody offered to help her and like i seen one guy when i started to walk down the block like her path act if she was okay and she just nodded yes so i'm sure she was fine let's get this I do believe that guy doesn't like me. Right, because I'm not a scholar or whatever you want to call it. You can jump down this, you can drop down. I 
hurt. That one was rough. You could just ask a Chocobo to heal you. Uh, I guess they might have patched it because usually if you take a lot of damage like that and you switch them over to heal, they'll start healing, healing you immediately, from what I remember. Could be wrong about that, but I guess it doesn't matter right now. You can see we are skipping a lot of things, right? There's all, all these kind of side missions you could be doing. I would still stand by the, the uh, opinion that a lot of them aren't worth it. You might want to Google the ones you should be doing. Uh, they're not many. Right? They're few and far between. Uh, let's see if I can purchase anything. It's not as good. Okay. What about... Uh, yeah, that's okay. Make sure I'm on the right way. Well, Hunting Lock hasn't updated for a while, so I'm wondering. What I'm guessing happened is that we missed some monsters along the way, because it only updates every so often, right? So we probably missed some monsters along the way. And I'm trying not to get caught by these guys, but they're bound to see me at some point. Or not. Wait. This is what we're going to do. There we go. Funny enough, look at that. He's in my log. That means that... Nope, that's not a bound wing. Okay. You know what we're going to do? We're going to smack him around for a while. It definitely feels better once you get like your heart hitting spells too. We are we are nuking. We're we're like ten levels above them though, but still. And with the big boom, right? That was pretty satisfying. Do it again. Birdman? Is that what they call these guys? Oh no. Okay, okay, that's fine. Make sure I'm on the right way. Alright, we are. This is fine, guys. No, we're not getting caught up on geometry. Not getting caught up on geometry, guys. And that's no. Oh, 
I'm pretty sure they're like just upstairs all the time. They make us go all the way up here. Every damn time. I think I'll survive if I drop down. Oh my god. I better not do that again. My poor little ankles. I do think I have died from there one time, like dropping down. Could be wrong. I probably am wrong. Uh, take the gloves. Seems like we're getting a definite level up over here. Full line gear. I just want to see what he has available. Fort of Fear. So I do think this is actually a side dungeon that you can do. Right, so we're just going to get it just to get it. Uh, but we're not going to do it. Yeah, this is dark hold. Uh, we're not going to do it right now because, you know, we're not. My mind is made up. See, it's all the way over there. We have to recover the stolen wares. Either way, we're going to make it over there eventually. Not a fan of Dark Hold. That's one of the few dungeons where I got actually really confused on and someone, <laughs> they stopped because I was tanking. They're like, hey, what the hell? And I was like, look, I'm new. I don't know what's going on. And then they explained it to me. I was like, oh, okay. Right, but uh, that one is not like no player friendly. You want to get these guys first because they could stun you out of your moves, basically. That's why you want to get them first. Then you can deal with the wizard. Right, you don't want to get stunned because you get stunned and then um, you're going to get hit with spells and melee at the same time. Tell me. Come closer. It's a little off-putting seeing like all their armor have like the uh, the sides with like ear slots in them. It's not really cute. <laughs> it's, it's just very off-putting. Like how does their ear hold up that much weight? of the chain mail.
right? They could have explained it away. They could have said, oh, they pinned their ears back, you know, with their hair. Or, like, you know, they had an ear clip or something like that. They didn't have to do that. It looks a little weird. God damn it. Chicago. Let's walk in slowly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I was just moving too fast. Uh, crap. This is the white lily. Hey, three out of three. I probably should start working on leveling up, like, um, let's make sure we're going the right way. Yeah, we're going off the path. Uh, I probably should start leveling up Paladin, but I think we're better off actually just hit going straight to 50 here, right? Um, because either way I want to tank with the Gunbreaker to begin with. And also, if you look closely, like the, uh, these characters right here, right, or this character, this NPC model, right, this enemy model, take a good look at this, guys, right? It's called Feral Croc. Uh, I don't have binoculars or anything, but we go first person look. They are hostile, right? If you guys are fans of um, SCPs, right, you would see that it looks very similar to the Heart to Destroy Reptile. And, um,. I feel like that they got that SCP off of this in particular. I know there's like other pictures out there that they use, but even those pictures look like those feral crocs. And I'm wondering where even this model came from, where it's very specific looking about like, like a turned inside out kind of crocodile with his like bones exposed. That has to come from somewhere, maybe Dungeons and Dragons. I can only speculate. But it's too, all those designs are too similar to ignore. So something's up with that. What's up with that? Did we, uh, did we touch this crystal over here? I don't think we did. I don't think we did, guys. All right, let's grab this crystal. Let's grab our free uh, trousers.
So they are looking very magey. I am glad we're not narrating this. It would have took a lot out of me, especially with all the. There's so much damn dialogue, right there. I don't think there's any way I'd have been able to sit here and, and read all of this. I do wish there was more like a narrated dialogue though in the game. It doesn't have to be every single thing, right? But it's very, very uh, sparse. I think it's talk to everybody around here, but let's make sure. No, I'm quite far away from where I need to go. Okay. Okay, they're over there somewhere, so get out of trouble them. I'm pretty sure we attuned ourselves, right? Yeah, we did. We definitely did. Gotta be sure, guys. Oh, all right, this is a building here, just uh, covered with snow. So, where is he upstairs? Alright, so we have one left. How did we miss this guy? Well, we're on the way over there, so... Let's go again. Let's go. I'm trying to make rapid progress here. I feel like if we played hard enough, we could get to 50 today, right? Uh, that means I might need a lot of caffeine, which I'm not against. Um, still, is one of those days where I don't have to exercise, right? I I do like the whole weekday thing, and then I take the weekends off, so I might be okay. We'll see, right? We'll push, uh, we'll push a little harder, like for right now. All right, try to get some more story in. I don't think we have 45 anytime soon, though, right? I don't think so. I thought about it after I jumped off the ledge. What's going on over there? That looks like fun. Pack of starving snowmobiles. You know what? Let's just focus on getting the story complete, shall we? Down here, so. They're messing that dude up, but nothing we can do for him, guys. We need to do the story. Right, that's what we gotta do. That's the focus. I am feeling the tiredness.
I remember when I first started this game, this was like maybe a year or so back when, you know, because I guess um, I do have like people that always like ask me to play stuff with them, right? So one of my boys was like, uh, you know, play, play the game. If you like it, I'll buy your subscription and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I was like, is there any classes there that I, I might like? I was like, <laughs> I was like, is there any classes with a gun? I want a gun. And he was like, yeah, but you need to get to level whatever, whatever. So I basically just like blitzed through the story and got to it. And then uh, also burnt out from just blitzing that I kind of was turned off by the game. You know? And I didn't play for a long time after that, right? I added a couple people. Uh, you know, they're like, oh, you, you could just experience it. And then, you know, when you catch up, you could play. And now uh, I didn't. I didn't ever catch up with them. And then I played it like recently, within the past year. Uh, I played it because, you know, everybody was going crazy. Oh, Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy. Yeah, beat, it beat a World of Warcraft, right? So, one of my boys, he was like, yeah, downloaded it. You should, try, you should, uh, I need someone to play with. So, uh, I gave it like an actual serious shot. And I had a lot of fun with it. And then, uh, you know, I was trying to move and all that kind of stuff. So, I had to put it down for a little bit. And also the the fact that I was on PlayStation really really hurt a uh, bad because the load times are like uh, me like, you see the way I'm teleporting around like to different places it could take like maybe half a minute sometimes right me me queuing into instances would take maybe a minute which uh, you know that's fine if everybody else was doing the same thing but they would like uh, be waiting for me which they were kind enough to do because I was the tank but uh, it was a major drag. It was a major drag. Here you go, guys. It's Drogon. We get a new Drogon right now. and easy fights nothing nothing much to it this can be kind of intimidating when you're like first starting out and you see big old dragon walking around right but we're used to fighting these kind of things now Does he look like he came out of Elder Scrolls? This ogre over here. Right, he looks like an ogre. Which I guess an ogre is just an ogre. When it comes down to it. I'm trying to shortcut my way. <laughs> but that probably was a bad idea. Now we gotta go around. Oh no, I can't make this. No, I cannot. Can I? Okay, I can. Okay, okay, that was easy.
I don't think I need that weapon coffer for this, uh, but let's see. Well, it's 36 to 38. I might need it. <laughs> let's take a look at a weapon. 34. Okay. So we could probably use it. Hopefully it'll work. Please. Crap. That was a poor decision, guys. But we had a try. It's fine. Let's try it on, though. Not bad looking. It's okay. Um, you know what? Let's accept this mission. I need to stretch my legs. Hold on, guys. <sighs> All right. Okay. So speak of. There is nothing that bothers me more than characters that don't look like they belong in this universe, right? There are a lot of costumes and there are like a lot of different technologies in the game, right? So you can give it a pass a lot of the time. Sometimes it just doesn't work though. You know? it, just, it looks a little too out of place. Right, like, uh, I think one time I saw someone wearing just like a pair of jeans, <laughs> right, like a pair of Levi's, and I was like, no, I don't think this is going to work in this game. I remember, I remember one of the biggest things, though, was uh, one of the biggest things that turned me off when I first started that made me just like blitz through it and try to get to uh, a technician was... Uh, I really didn't like the character in it. Uh, not one bit. Not one bit. Now it's like, you know, you sit down and you kind of make it manageable. Uh, you know, even then I don't like it, like almost all the characters I make, right? I don't like the way they look. But it really turned me off. And some people like it, right? I think if you're making a female character, you're, you'll have better luck with the character create. We don't do that here. So I had major issues. I was trying to make someone look cool. Well, you know, my my iteration of cool for me, right? Which uh, just didn't match with this game. You got me picking up packages and running up hills, man. All kinds of stuff. There's some kind of weird conspiracy going on.
Is there not much to be said here, right? We're just walking around, talking to people, yeah. gathering evidence, trying to clear someone's name. Right, we're finding like the del deliveries with like um, items that shouldn't be there. Right, very suspicious stuff. And doing that, they're doing that old school stuff. Like if you're innocent, <laughs> you jump off this cliff and let the gods decide, right? That kind of thing. Uh, we're not gonna let that happen, not right now. So let's uh, let's do it. You really want these ranged damage dealers down first, right? One guy is like a healer. Can't have that. I do think we'll wrap it up after this, though, guys. It was a complete accident, but... I do think we have to focus on this guy right here. We should get the healer. That's why you want to get him, because he's being super annoying. A little, little fireball, right? What about his misery? This guy down. Oh, he's running for the hills. <laughs> I think we're done with him.
feel like I might have had to focus on the wyvern, but I think it's fine. Okay. Oh, the wyvern just leaves, yeah. Okay. Not the worst. I think I think our gear is a little low level, even though our, you know, we have a lot of experience. And look what he dropped: the Draconian Rosary. Was he a traitor? Seems like he might have been. Found that the order has like some heretics in there, right? There's like some big, big thing going on with these knights. Ishgard is where the DLC is at, right? So we're like, we're like outside of the Ishgard. We can't go there yet until we finish this like Realm Reborn story. So we're like at the beginnings of it, basically the very beginnings. Let's turn this mission in. Can I just teleport here, please? We just get teleport because I'm too lazy. Now we're gonna turn this mission in. We're gonna wrap it up for now. I'm gonna grab some breakfast. Maybe I should probably take a nap. <laughs> we'll see, you guys. Um, let's turn it in though. Get our experience. We're well fed still, right? For at least 17 more minutes. I'll be on some time, right? There's not going to be sadness done. Let's just accept this mission. All right, guys. I do think we're going to call it quits here for a while. Anyways, thank you for just stopping by. Uh, we're going to cut all the nice CDs, right? Because I'm very tired. So I'll catch you guys later. Sometime a day. I'm out of here, guys. Take it easy.